going to talk about um, floating a pop-up image on top of the card so it looks like it's floating above the card. Um, I'm going to use a square stand or a rectangle stand. I've done a couple of videos now on how to make the square stands so I'm not going to waste your time on that here. Um, please review those videos if you need to. Um, I basically take two pieces of the stands and I um, place them next to each other. You can glue them um, next to each other and then glue them to the card or you can just glue them to the card. Um, but basically where those two um, stands meet is where the crease of the card is. And then my image can then be folded in half and that way it folds shut when the card shuts and glued to the top of those two stands. So let me just put some glue on top of this. And where the crease of the card is, is where the two stands meet. See right in the center there. So that way uh, your image can fold flat and your image can pop up when it's open and it's floating above the card. By using techniques like this, you can make any card, even ready-made cards, into pop-ups. The other thing I'm going to show you is if you have a really big image or if you have an image with a hole in it, like my lips here, um, it's basically the same principle. You just have to stagger the um, stands. So let me show you with this example of a heart cutout. And um, if you uh, place the two stands right next to each other, they're going to show under the, um, the cutout. So what you do is you hide them behind the image and you just stagger them out. So fold your image in half where you want to place it onto the card and um, put some glue on one of the stands and on the back side of the image you're going to glue the stand um, meeting the crease of the stand to the fold of the image. And then um, for the other stand you're also going to glue just one side of the square of the stand and then you're going to glue it to the opposite end of the back side of the image meeting the crease of the stand with the fold of the image so that you now have two stands on the back side of the image on opposite ends like this. So now you have the two stands lined up with the with the crease of the image and then you're going to glue them to the um, card. So you just put glue on the bottom of each stand and then um, the easiest way to do this is to fold the image back in half um, so that your stands are flat and you have glue on one side of one stand and glue on the other side of the other stand. And then you can just um, meet up those creases with the fold of the card. And that's how you get an image with a hole in it to pop up and you can't see the stands underneath. And that's the second of two ways to glue up a floating image.